Here's a preview of what you'll hear on this episode of Beyond the Wheel. So we have rallies and we have caravans. Caravans are moving so that you go from location to location. Rallies are similar to what we're doing here. We get to one spot and we stay, and there's about 82 of those in a year. In fact, if, over our lifetime at Fantasy RV Tours, we've done, we have taken over 70,000 people on their trip of a lifetime. Now enjoy the show. You are listening to Beyond the Wheel, a podcast about the people and ideas that drive the RV community forward. Looking to get out there and stay out there? Battleborn Batteries Lithium Ion Batteries are here to power your RV, marine, and off grid adventures. Designed as an easy drop in replacement for traditional lead acid batteries, these reliable solutions have two to three times the power charge five times faster, are a fifth of the weight, and last 10 times longer. Offered in a variety of models in unique sizes and shapes, ranging from 50 amp hour to a robust 270 amp hour, and backed by a 10 year warranty. Battleborn batteries are built to fit your needs and power your experiences. On the road, on the water, and off the grid, reliable power is here. Check them out at battlebornbatteries.com. Hey everyone, before we get this episode started, we wanted to let you know that Sean and I have been asked to attend FMCA's 106th International Convention and RV Expo, March 15th through the 18th in Perry, Georgia. We will be putting on a live daily show every morning for the full event. So if you're going to be at the show, be sure to stop by our booth and say hi. We want to thank Echo One Adventures for sponsoring our trip to the FMCA convention. Echo One Adventures is a company that does electrical installs in all types of RVs and rents travel trailers fully outfitted for off-grid living. To learn more about them, go to echoneadventures.com. Thanks again to Echo One Adventures for their support. Hey everyone, welcome to our recordings from the FMCA convention in March in Perry, Georgia. These were interviews that we recorded live during the event. During the first day, we were able to talk with Stacy from Fantasy RV Tours. As you will hear, Fantasy RV Tours offers some great trips for RVers to locations all around the U.S. and the world. Following this interview, Julie and I booked a trip to Canada next summer. We really enjoyed the amenities and the trips offered by Fantasy RV Tours. Before we get into the episode, I want to ask a favor. Kenny and I work hard to provide good content. All we ask in return is to leave a rating and or review on the podcast platform you are listening to us on. It really helps our ranking and allows us to reach more listeners. That's it. Thanks in advance for helping us out. Now let's listen to Stacy talk about Fantasy RV Tours. Hey, welcome back everybody to the FMCA convention in Perry, Georgia. Today we are joined with Stacy from Fantasy RV Tours. Stacy, how are you doing today? I'm a little bit cold, but I'm doing great. <laughs> that seems to be t- this morning's trend. <laughs> right. It is chilly. Can you uh, kind of introduce yourself and tell us what your role at Fantasy RV Tours is? Sure. I'm Stacy Raybung, and I am the operations director for Fantasy RV Tours. So I uh, run pretty much the entire operations of the tours. I uh, recruit ambassadors. I recruit um, team members to work with us. I do a lot of that. I also do a lot of scouting uh, for new tours and wow. routing of new tours. And generally, I if it needs to be done, I ta- make sure it gets <laughs> taken care of. Okay. So oh. for the people that are that are don't know about what Fantasy RV Tours is, can you just kind of tell us what what Fantasy Tours is? Sure. Um, We offer guided RV vacations to bucket list locations. That's about the most succinct way that I could say it. But we go everywhere, Alaska, Canada, Mexico, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and of course, all throughout the United States. 
I bet those scouting trips that you take are pretty fun. Uh, you know, it's a rough job, but somebody's <laughs> got to do it. You know, I um, I spent the uh, entire year of 2018 and 19 full time in an RV um, scouting tours and doing. I got to go to Alaska and doing lots of fun things. So most people say, "How did you get that job?" Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> See, I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking that sounded like a lot of work. It is a lot to, of work to plan <laughs> how you're going to route everybody, where you're going to stop, what are you going to do do at that stop. Yes, it is a lot of work and there's a lot of detail that goes into it. And it's not always just me. I have um, some ambassadors that are uh, they'll they'll give me an idea and I'll say, okay, you want to scout that for me and give me all the information because oh, okay. I can't get out of the office right now or I can't I don't have time to spend 45 days on the road checking this out. And so sometimes I'll have ambassadors do it and sometimes they have a better view of it than me because I'm not a tour leader. I am not the person out there on the ground and they can get the logistics a little bit um, okay. more in, in line than I do sometimes. Okay. And so how many, about how many trips a year are there through Fantasy RV Tours? Uh, we run about 82 wow. uh, oh, tours. Wow. And, of course, we also do rallies, which are stationary. So we have rallies and we have caravans. Caravans are moving so that you go from location to location. Rallies are similar to what we're doing here. We get to one spot and we stay. And there's about 82 of those in a year. In fact, if over our lifetime at Fantasy RV Tours, we've done, we have taken over 70,000 people on their trip of a lifetime. So that's a, uh, Nell is really proud of that yeah, legacy. That's impressive. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah, that's really impressive. So it's something mm -hmm. going on, more than one thing going on every week, pretty much. Yeah, you know, we we, <laughs> we in the office, we joke about the off season. <laughs> the off season is basically uh, December <laughs> and a little bit of January. So, so yeah, we, we joke that the off season has gotten shorter and shorter, so we have something going pretty much all year long. Oh, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife and I are part of those 70,000. We did the balloon fiesta with you guys in last October, and we had an absolute fantastic time. Like, I, I tell, I, ra I absolutely rave about the trip that we had. And you mentioned uh, that you have ambassadors go out, but can you talk a little bit about the ambassadors? Because for our trip at, at the balloon fiesta, we appreciate it. Your ambassadors so much. They were so helpful throughout the, the entire week that we were there. Like if we had a question or we had just something to figure out, they were excited to help is right. the best way to describe it. <laughs> right. Our ambassadors are some of the best that you'll find out in the industry. And we uh, go through some extensive training with them. We recruit them and all of our ambassadors have are required to have been customers first. So they go on a caravan. They love it. They ask the wagon master, how do I get to do this? I'm retired now. I yeah. want to do something. And, and they send their name to me. And then I reach out to them with a few questions. What do you want to do? And then we have a training every year, um, usually in the late fall after most of the tours have finished. And it's an in-person three-day training. And after uh -huh. that, we send them out um, as a tail gunner for their first time. We never let them go out as a wagon master first, so they do a training tour as a tail gunner. And they're very excited. They came to work for us because they loved their tour. Yeah. So they really love being part of uh, helping people realize their dreams, and that's that's what our ambassadors do. And, yes, we had about um, 16 couples at the balloon rally because that's a large – we have 200 rigs – coming in and out twice wow. at the balloon rally. So there's a lot of logistics, a lot of parking, <laughs> a lot of food, a lot of drink, and it's a, it's, a, it's a fun time for everybody. It's a lot of work for the ambassadors, but they love it. Yeah. And, and what's provided typically to somebody that, that goes on one of your tours or one of your rallies? What's typically, like, what's a typical... I don't know what I'm saying. What what do you typically What's provide included? for them? Yeah. What's, What's included, included with the right. price? Right. So obviously we always include an experienced wagon master and tail gunner. That's the first thing. Somebody who's been there before because that makes people feel more comfortable, especially yeah, if you're sure. going somewhere like Alaska or Mexico or out of the country. It feels better to have somebody uh, that's been there before. But more importantly... Uh, rallies, we it, we provide bus transportation to all of the locations that we go to. So if we're at a rally like the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta, we will include transportation to take you out into the city to see 
the most iconic locations that we can have in that area. Things that you might not otherwise do because mm -hmm. you don't want to fight the traffic. You don't want to yeah. deal with getting back into your parking lot, into the parking area. So I, uh, food is included at mo uh, rally. Generally, like at the balloon, it's a catered uh, event because we don't have a kitchen or uh -huh. to provide. But um, different rallies will go to different restaurants if we if we if it's not too large. We can't take 350 people to many restaurants in Albuquerque. But on something like Washington, D.C. rally, we eat restaurants, we go to theaters, all of these bucket list items, museums, all the museums are included. We make we give everybody a, a day, maybe a day off, after they've explored the city a little bit so they can go back and do certain things that they really uh, want to uh, do. That's nice. Right, yeah, and yeah. on a moving caravan, same kind of thing. We provide a trip log that gives detailed driving directions and um, specific locations that they should stop and see along the way. Uh, we don't want it to just be a, you know, a windshield tour. We want them to stop <laughs> and see what um, what there is from destination to the next destination. And of course, all the camping reservations are included. We usually provide some sort of meal at least once a day on, oh, on the okay. tour or every other day there's a provided meal on the tour. And um, of course, all the bucket list things. If you're in Alaska, we're going to take you to, on the White Pass train. We're going to take you out whale uh, watching, if out on the wildlife tours and all, all of those things. Things Most people say it's be things that they would not have sought out or done on their own okay. or even known about. Yeah, yeah, and I like what you said, too, that the day off, because Sabrina and I felt it was a very relaxed atmosphere. Sure, you guys had a schedule and tons of stuff for us to do, yeah, yeah. but you didn't have to be everywhere at once. You didn't have to do everything if you didn't want to. Like, you moved at your own pace. Right. It's important to know it's your vacation. We have an itinerary, and we've planned what we feel like will be a good itinerary for the majority of the people on the tour. You will get different age brackets or different activity levels, and so we want to give those people time to do things that are interesting to, the, to them. We have people that want to go hiking. We have people that want to go four-wheeling. We have people that can't do that and mm -hmm. don't want to do that. And so we try to provide a range of activities for ev that will suit everybody and give them a little bit of time to be able to do what they want to do. Yeah, I think your longest tour is Alaska, right? There's, there's we have a 62-day your way tour to Alaska, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the <laughs> shortest tour... Our shortest tour would be the five-day balloon rally, okay. uh, which is in 2024 moving to six days. We're going to do both of them are going to be six days. Oh, okay. So um, we also have a couple of other rallies. Our reunion rally is six days. The NATO festival rally is six days. And then we have a shorter caravan might be like the wine and dine tour because it starts in Arizona and we take you across the borders. So that's seven days. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the NATO uh, the NATO Festival is... Um, is it in Virginia? In it's Norfolk? in Virginia, yes. We're okay. camping at Virginia Beach, and um, it's the... Mm. So there's a tattoo involved, yeah. okay. and all of the um, parades and the festival and everything. So we're going to take people in for... Their, and actually, I'm going to that one this year. It's in middle of April. So we bring everybody in. We're going to camp at Virginia Beach, and then we'll bus them over to the festival so they don't have to deal with parking and they don't have to deal with the crowds. And, of course, we buy tattoo tickets so that they can get oh. in to see the tattoo. And we're going to visit the Air and Space Museum and go on a harbor tour of, of uh, Norfolk Harbor. It's really... Uh, really a great it's new it's only this will only be our second ask. year to oh, run it. yeah okay. Okay. it was also planned in 2020 okay. <laughs> okay. 2020 okay. as you know <laughs> this <Yeah>. is scratch, <laughs> so. it's nice that you guys provide all the transportation like once you get to a location too people don't necessarily need to bring their tow vehicles or anything like that then right we do recommend most people try to bring a tow vehicle okay. just in case there's something they want to do on their own, and on some of our moving caravans, it might be a little uh, remote and a little hard to get a bus into certain places. Um, so we recommend people bring a tow car, but it is not required. Okay. And okay. usually we'll find someone that will help out if somebody needs a ride somewhere if they don't have a tow vehicle. But oh. when you're on one of the longer tours, it's important to have one just so you can get to the grocery. If you, you know, on a 62-day oh, yeah. tour, you need to get to a grocery at some <laughs> point. Okay, <laughs> okay, know? that makes sense. I was thinking more right. of the, like, the balloon but fiesta. But now the we rallies, didn't bring one. the rallies pretty much you don't need 
need a car unless you want to go out and do something because there's going to be bus transportation to most everything. We have a lot of people who bring bike to yeah. Balloon Fest because yeah. you can bike easily yeah. across the field. And can any type of RV go on a fantasy RV tour? Any type of RV. We have um, pop-ups. We have fifth wheels. We oh, have wow. travel trailers all the way up to the 45-foot diesel pushers that tow trailers. Okay. We, um, it's a, a little tight in Alaska if you're towing a 40-foot trailer behind <laughs> your 45-foot <laughs> RV. But, but yes, all, um, all RV types are allowed and encouraged. And you guys move at a re very relaxed pace, I think, even while traveling in caravan style. It's not bumper to bumper. Like, you guys don't go, I don't think, in a tight no, uh, that's a great question. We we travel in scattered travel style. We don't require that anybody leave at any certain time of the campground. The wagon master will say, I'm going to leave at 8. And the wagon master's goal is to get to the next campground before everybody else gets there so that they can get everybody checked in, be standing at the uh -huh. gate, waiting, waving at them to oh, get them par okay. help them get parked and make sure everything is satisfactory for their arrival. The tail gunner will say, I'm leaving at 11, and he's the last, that's the last rig out of the park, so they can do a sweep, make sure nobody forgot anything important, you know, like their pet or <laughs> their or their pet gates or their wise for the water faucet. Yeah. So everybody can leave at any time between those two times. And if you want the tail gunner behind you, that's when you, you want to make sure you leave before the tail gunner. Some people are late sleepers. They don't yeah. want to leave at 8 a.m., and other people want to leave at 7 a.m., and they can <laughs> if they want. But it's important for them to know that the wagon master won't be there, and it won't be ready until such and so time. Okay. Do you have any favorites that... Uh out of all the tours? I'm sure you've been on most of them. Well, I haven't been on most. <laughs> uh, I don't get that much time off. But no, um, I, my favorite, if I could pick one that I want to go on and that I would be allowed to go on, it, my very favorite is the South Africa tour. And I know that's a big ticket item, and I don't say that just because it's a big ticket <laughs> item. I say it because I, it's going right now, and I see the pictures that the uh, team is sending back on Facebook, and I, I follow just, that too. The yeah. lions <laughs> and the zebras, and I just, I, I just, um, I'm a big fan of the Lion King since my kids were little, <laughs> and so I just have always wanted to go and see that African sunset, and um, so that's my fav. That's probably the one I really want to go on. The Baja Wine and Dine is kind of near and dear to my heart because it's one of the ones that I scouted and designed. Oh, and okay. I want to prove to everybody that Mexico is safe. And it's a really great little wine country that is up and coming in the Baja, northern Baja area. And you'll be surprised how much it's like California, except for without the high ticket items. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. And for those overseas tours, the uh, Australia, New Zealand, and the South Africa uh, RVs are provided when you get there. Right. We okay. we rent um, RVs while we are there. They're a little like a super class B size. They're small, small uh, vans that we rent for the for the guests when they arrive. It's included in as uh, part of the package. Okay. So uh, and we we also do a training when we're there um, with the RV rental company. They teach us how it's a little bit different than a class A because it's got different type of uh, sewer systems and things. So we give them a training class about how to operate um, everything in the vehicle and off they go nice mm -hmm. how, how long is that tour the um the australia new zealand tour is 39 days uh with a six day add-on to the outback which is just ah. uh that but we turn that's our nice. rvs in before we go to the outback and that's a hotel we fly over and that's yeah. a hotel stay with a bus oh and it's fantastic i'm seeing the pictures from that one also <laughs> right now too we go out to Ayers rock and we get to see Ayers rock at three different times in the sunrise midday and sunset because the rock changes yeah. colors every day and we do the sound of silence dinner and it's just fantastic out under the stars and so that one's 39 days and the south africa tour is 33 okay oh decent amount of time mm -hmm. yeah. yeah right and all you have to do is get there i you got you do have to book your flight to get to australia or and actually the australia new zealand starts in new zealand and um, the South Africa st tour starts, um, obviously, in South Africa, Johannesburg. Okay. So, But, like, true bucket list destinations, like you were saying, like right. once-in-a-lifetime type of trips. Right. These are once-in-a-lifetime trips. We want people to have a memorable vacation. That's why we want you to be able to do it your way. And you can, 
you know, you can take or leave what we've provided to you, but we want you to have a good time and, you know, and it's a lot of money. So we want it to be uh, an experience of a lifetime. We have many customers who buy this for a uh, 40th anniversary or a birthday uh, for their, you know, for their spouse. And it's really, and they look forward to it for, you know, a couple of years in advance. Well, we, Sabrina and I found great value in the Balloon Fiesta, so much so that we signed up for two more trips with you guys on that trip. So we will be in Baja for, in October for the Wine and Dine, and then we're going back for the whale watching in February. Right. Oh, good. So, I mean, we, <laughs> like I said, I, we absolutely rave about just mm -hmm. how much fun we had. We thought it was worth every penny yes. <laughs> on that trip. And, you know, what we didn't mention earlier, too, is like you, their community, just like there is community here at the FMCA show. Sabrina and I had a great time at dinner, sitting down with folks, meeting other people, finding out where they're from, how they travel, if it was their first time on a fantasy RV you tour. You know, often the thing that guests tell us is their favorite thing about uh, traveling on a fantasy RV tour is that they become a family. Mm -hmm. um, you spend, you know, 30 or 60 days with 24 other RVs and you get to know each other. Yeah. We have people who meet up all the time. A lot of our customers are from Florida and I see meetups, you know, uh, the 2018 Alaska, 60 day Alaska tour, there's 10 rigs of them that are all down in Florida and they're all gonna get together and have dinner tonight or oh, wow. and they all still the the Facebook groups we you know each wagon master creates a Facebook group for the for the tour and they I still see posts from in in those from 2018 2017 so it's really a family and that's what people enjoy a lot of people want to enjoy the RV lifestyle but they get tired of going by themselves yeah. and not knowing anybody when they get there. And they're like, well, we can sit here in the RV and watch TV mm -hmm. or, you know, so they like to be able to, and we build in that social time. We build in campfires and socials so that people get out of their rig and come sit outside and get to know each other. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. The, um, the, the tours too, it seems like, like the Africa one that's going on right now, like you're not going to go there and, not see anything. It seems like every time I see posts on Facebook, there's something going on that's pretty cool. Yes, uh, we we go. Our goal is the big five. Yeah. we're gonna we're gonna try to see the big five, and um, we do several safaris. One of the highlights of that tour is we spend three days at the Buhala Lodge and. If you don't know what that lodge is, you need to take a look at it online because the, the elephants come up in the garden. You can sit out on your balcony and have dinner or have your coffee while you're watching the elephants and the hippos in the river behind. It's really a fantastic highlight. And while we are there, we do three safaris from that area. So obviously they're guided safaris. We go in different vehicles, smaller vehicles, and so everybody breaks up and goes. But we all go at the same time. And Yes, uh, you, the goal is to see all of the uh, all of the animals we can see, and one of the great things about our South Africa tours, we have a um, local guide who travels with us. Oh, that's he, great! He is our tail gunner, um, and he is also a mechanic, and he can fix anything that <laughs> breaks on any of the rigs or anything else. And so he can he really takes care of us, and he keeps us safe and makes sure we don't wander off. Now, I will say in South Africa and Australia, New Zealand and Mexico, we do travel together. We do not like to break apart and do scattered travel on those tours because it's just safer to keep everyone yeah, that together. Makes yeah. I think one of the, the challenges with fantasy RV tours, which is kind of a good challenge, is that you have to plan in advance because these tours do sell out. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right now, all of our 2024 Alaskas and uh, tours are sold out completely. Wow. You know, there's obviously always some cancels, so you want to keep checking back. If there's something, we have a standby process also. You can oh, get booked okay. on standby on a waiting list. 2025 tours are selling out quickly. We've already... Uh, we've uh, Oh, we put our 2025 Alaska tours. Alaska's really, and our overseas tours are really the ones that sell out the fastest, and of course, balloon. Uh, the balloon rally sells out as soon as the balloon fiesta announces their camp grounds are open for oh, <laughs> wow. for reservations so but yes i recommend that people try to book their tour about a year in advance and if they can they can do two years in advance it's even better we have 
you know, we offer a really uh, great monthly payment plan if they want to do that, which is no interest, no credit check. They just sign up and pay the uh, deposit, and then they can make monthly payments. Okay. And so that kind of eases the pain of having to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, two years, wait two years. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least you can uh, pay for it uh, yeah. over time if you want. Yeah. And you guys are here at the show. You have a booth set up, or actually maybe even larger than just a booth <laughs> set up here. Yes. People can come here and sign up for a trip right here at the show? Absolutely. Uh, we have a great discount offering also here at the oh, show. Okay. So we have a show board out front that shows all the discounts that we're offering okay. on our current inventory. We have, I believe, four booths um, that are all <laughs> mixed up together. And what's great is we're also doing several, so eight seminars Oh, here, wow. so they can come to a seminar. They can learn about the tours that we offer. They can uh, today. We're doing just guided RV tours. Just learning what are we about? What do what do you do on an RV caravan? And so it's a great informational seminar. I think it's at ten o'clock this morning or ten thirty this morning. But at our booth, we also have a little in booth theater. So if they can't make it to a seminar, they can come and see a seminar. We'll sit down with them, do a private showing for them if they want to learn more. If they can't make it but we are excited to be here and um, a sponsor at FMCA our partnership with FMCA is really fantastic and we enjoy working with everybody here at and FMCA it's, it's been several years your partnership it goes yes. back many many years many I years think. yes yeah, yeah. Uh, Nell's very proud of her uh, uh, membership with FMCA going all the way back from her father's membership and it was passed down to her so we have been with FMCA for many many years and we're very happy to be part of that relationship. Nice. And then if people aren't at the show, but they're watching this and they, they're interested, is it just fantasyrvtours.com? fantasyrvtours.com. They can book right there online if they want to. They can chat. We have a monitored chat. Uh, so some okay. if they have questions, they can chat. They can call our 800 number, which they will find on that website if they have any questions. Obviously, they can come here to the booth and book anything they want. And I would suggest they go to our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel as well, just Fantasy RV Tours. And uh, we're um, updating that with new videos. So I suggest they go take a look at that to see some of the things that we offer on the YouTube channel. Oh, that's great. Facebook. Yeah. We have all the all the <laughs> socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, nice. <laughs> YouTube. Nice. Yeah, I think I see a lot of the pictures on Instagram, actually. Right. Yeah, yeah. I do, too. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. If they have any issues with booking online, which they shouldn't, but it, sometimes they run into a question that they might want to answer, they can just snap over there to that chat message, and somebody will be right there to help them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time out to talk to us. Is there anything we missed that you want to add? Well, I appreciate you uh, inviting us to be on again. We enjoy it. I do want to mention that because of the partnership with FMCA, we do offer FMCA members a discount on um, an automatic discount on our rallies and caravans. Not it's just at the show. Not just at the show. Oh, okay, always. great. Um, and so that's a $100 discount for being an FMCA member on a moving caravan, $50 off on a rally if okay. um, if that's what they want to do. Of course, there's other discounts available, but and we also offer offer some tours that are FMCA member only tours. So they have to be an oh, okay. FMCA member to go okay. on the tour. Um, we have a couple of different tours that we do private tours like that, but m the majority of them will be an FMCA. They'll be an FMCA tour, but we have public tours also, so they don't have to be an <laughs> FMCA member, but we encourage them to be. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you guys. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that live episode from the FMCA convention with Stacy from Fantasy RV Tours. I know I said already in the interview how great their ambassadors are, but I would like to echo that one more time and say those men and women truly make these trips memorable and made the Balloon Fiesta the event that Sabrina and I will not forget. Be sure to check out Fantasy RV Tours at FantasyRVTours.com. We have three more days of the FMCA event to share with you that I know you're going to enjoy. And before I let you go, I just want to ask one more time if you guys could leave us that rating or review on Apple Podcasts or whichever podcast platform you're listening to us on. These ratings really help our ranking and help the podcast grow. Take care, everybody, and safe travels. Looking to get out there and stay out there? Battleborn Batteries Lithium-Ion Batteries are here to power your RV, marine, and off-grid adventures. Designed as an easy drop-in replacement for traditional lead-acid batteries, these reliable solutions have two to three times the power, 
charge five times faster, are a fifth of the weight, and last 10 times longer. Offered in a variety of models in unique sizes and shapes, ranging from 50 amp hour to a robust 270 amp hour, and backed by a 10-year warranty. Battleborn batteries are built to fit your needs and power your experiences. On the road, on the water, and off the grid, reliable power is here. Check them out at BattlebornBatteries.com. With the complexity of all the systems in an RV, I always say it's not if something's going to break, but a matter of when is something going to break. That is why I think an extended warranty for RVs is so important. We first interviewed wholesale warranties back in 2019 and immediately became impressed with how their policies worked, such as you can take your RV to any licensed repair shop, including mobile repairs. They also have personalized service plans, making sure you are getting the right policy for your needs. And if you think your RV is too old for a policy, you might be surprised to hear that RVs up to 20 years old can still be approved for a policy. That is more age lenient than most RV parks I've stayed at. Go to wholesalewarranties.com forward slash beyond the wheel or click the link down below in our show notes to get your free quote today.